This program is brought to you by Emory University. So we have a new movie coming out called Unstoppable, which is about a, a huge runaway train uh, barreling along at something close to 50 miles an hour. And if you look at the, uh, the write-up, the publicity for the film, it says the train has a weight of one million tons. That actually seemed high to me, and I went out and checked on the internet. Probably that number isn't right, but let's go ahead and play with it a little bit and, and see what comes out. The reason a train like that might do damage if it runs into something is that it carries kinetic energy. And as a, a formula for kinetic energy that we always teach in introductory physics, here it is. It's one half the mass times the speed squared. Notice the squared. That's really important. So you can put in the mass of the train and its speed and, and figure out how much energy it carries. A nice way to compare that is to the energy carried by nuclear weapons, which are some of the most powerful things uh, mankind has ever made. So here's a list of some of the things going on that have energy, and I'm also going to include the energy of an asteroid hitting the Earth. H-bomb has an energy as if you exploded 20 million tons of TNT, and an asteroid like this one, I hope it shows up, if not I'll do a sketch on the board, which hit the Earth about 50,000 years ago, has about that same amount of energy. You can see it dug a hole almost a mile across, a huge hole. So these are big amounts of energy. A-bomb is, is about 20 kilotons, 20,000 tons of TNT. Now let's get to our train. If it had truly, as the advertising material says, a weight of one million tons, it would be equivalent in the kinetic energy out of this equation to 60 tons of TNT, which would be a major explosion. If that crashed into something in the middle of the city, you sure would know it. But if, as I think, whoever wrote the publicity forgot the difference between tons and pounds, and the train really ought to have a weight of about a million pounds, it would be only about 60 pounds of TNT. Certainly enough to take down a building. It's not something you'd want to be in front of. It would turn an SUV into molecules. I mean, it would be a terrible crash but not enough to take out a whole city block or a whole city. So this is a great example. I, I would say this almost isn't even science. It's just applying some simple math and one basic equation, what's going on in the film, and you kind of check the assumptions made in the film and ask yourself, well, does the science fly or does it not? If I take the numbers that the film tells me, the science does not exactly fly. Otherwise, the film looks like fun. And uh, again, if I was watching it in the theater, I would just munch my popcorn and sit back and let the train roll over me. I'm not going to worry too much about the math, but there is a teaching moment here. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.